Best Telescope 2022. Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. So today's video is about the Best Telescope of 2022. Also, links are given below in the description box. So without further delay, let's start our video. Sit back and enjoy. Number one, Celestron Astromaster 130EQ. Astromaster Celestron telescopes are frequently recommended by uniformed astronomers. The Celestron brand is beloved by many older astronomers, even though today's Celestron is similar to the US-owned Celestron of decades past. Most Astromaster telescopes have questionable if not downright poor build and optical quality. Many of them come with useless low-power eyepieces intended to fulfill ridiculous promises about terrestrial viewing, as is the case with the Astromaster 130. However, they are unquestionably an improvement over the Power Seeker line of telescopes. If you can find a better low-power eyepiece than the one that comes with the telescope, the Celestron Astromaster 130 can show you a lot of deep sky objects. Even if you are unlucky enough to receive a sample with mediocre to subpar optics, the brighter open star clusters and nebula like Orion, Lagoon, and Swan will appear spectacular with half-decent skies. M51 and M101 may show their spiral arms in extremely dark skies. Some bright galaxies will show their dust lanes including Andromeda, M82, and M64. Number 2. Celestron StarSense Explorer DX-130AZ Celestron Star Expense Explorer DX-130AZ is a fantastic telescope for those just starting out. It is reasonably priced and you get a robust system for your money. It's also very user friendly. We found that a child as young as 8 could begin to understand how to use it. This telescope is not flawless, as are all telescopes. To enable closer views of the planets, we would have loved to see a higher power eyepiece or Barlow lens included in the set, essential if you wish to see details on them. The telescope must be collimated to function properly, which isn't the most straightforward task for a beginner to complete, especially with a Newtonian. Nevertheless, this instrument's small size makes the process more accessible than it is with larger telescopes, where switching between an eyepiece and collimation screws requires constant motion. A fantastic option for a first telescope or for those just getting started is the StarSense Explorer DX-130AZ. This telescope is a potent tool that will give you countless hours of enjoyment to observe, thanks to its excellent usability and capable StarSense app. Number 3. Celestron Nexstar 5SE A modern take on a Celestron classic. The Celestron Nexstar 5SE telescope is high-tech and offers high-tech features at a reasonable price. Like no other telescope in their collection. This one strikes the ideal balance between innovation, usability, and affordability. The Nexstar SE line includes the high-quality optics expected from Celestron, a fully motorized GOTO mount, and a sizable built-in database of stars and celestial objects. They put everything together in a fantastic package that fits into a topic with many appeals. The Celestron Nexstar 5 SE telescope is an effective telescope kit that anyone can use thanks to its powerful Schmidt Casgrain scope and Celestron package of technological upgrades. Jupiter can be seen in stunningly vivid views with the Celestron Nexstar 5 SE telescope, which displays all of the reds and oranges of its cloud bands. It can also detect breathtaking white and blue light from far off star clusters and blue supergiant stars. The quality of the images produced by this telescope is genuinely astounding. This telescope can observe everything, from the cold closeness of the moon to the incredibly bright light of massive hot stars. This is due to its average focal ratio and decent but not particularly large aperture. The result is a flexible optical platform that allows for breathtaking views of the cosmos. Many telescopes excel at either one or the other. Many telescopes excel at either one or the other. Jupiter, or a distant nebula, appears terrific, but it can be challenging to set up a single telescope to see both objects equally well. The Celestron Nexstar 5 SE telescope has the potential to keep you entertained for years, possibly decades, as it has 40,000 things in its database. It would take the curious astronomer 36.5 years to go through the entire database if they search for three different objects each night, seven days a week and 365 days. Number 4. GIS Gear. A 70mm short focal length refractor mounted on a camera style tripod 
makes up the Giskers A7Z0400 telescope package. It has two eyepieces, a 3x Barlow lens, a finder scope, a carry case, and a 45 degree diagonal. It is obviously aimed at first time buyers with low entry prices. The 45 degree diagonal was the first thing that caught my eye. The scope will function properly if you primarily use it as a daytime spotting scope or to observe objects in the night sky less than 30 degrees above the horizon. However, viewing things 40 degrees or higher above the horizon will become challenging and necessitate kneeling to use the eyepiece. As expected in a package at this price point, the included eyepieces appear to be on the Kellner type. They function well but don't have eye cups to block stray light. The eyepieces 16 times and 40 times magnifications are suitable for the scope. They will provide 48 times and 120 times when used in tandem with the 3 times Barlow that is included. The practical upper limit of a 70mm short focal length refractor would be 120 times. Any telescope package that costs less than $100 will be lacking somehow, but this one is lacking in far too many areas. Number 5. SV Boney SV503 The 80mm 3.15 inch objective lens of the SV503 is advertised as an ED doublet telescope using O'Hara's S FP L51 glass. The 560mm focal length has an F7 focal ratio. The SV503 has a lovely white powder coat finish with gold accents at the base of the dew shield and micro focuser, resembling the Zenistar scopes from William Optics with gold accents in appearance. The tube itself is substantial, and tapping it produces a sound that, in my memory, is reminiscent of tapping on vintage cast iron rainwater downpipes. This is a device that is obviously made to last a lifetime. A tremendous little telescope for the money is the SV Boney SV503 ED80 F-7 telescope. Its lightweight and ease of use make it perfect for a grab-and-go scope. Features dual hinge mounting rings with Vixen, Vixen style dovetail and double mounting rings for easy mounting on most brands of EQ or AZ Alt mounts. SMC coated lenses rotating focus head, two-speed rack, and pinion focus with the included 1.25 inch adapter, two inch or 1.25 inch eyepieces can be used. Construction and machining are excellent and durable. Aluminum OTA with white powder coating. When not in use, the dew shield slides for smaller storage. It makes for a nice little astrophotography rig at a cost that won't break the bank when combined with the SV106 50 millimeter guide scope and the SV305 camera. Number six, Celestron Inspire 100AZ. Within its confined tube, the Inspire 100AZ uses refractor-based optics. If you didn't previously know, there are only three primary telescope optics found in devices, a reflector, a compound, and a refractor. These three are the fundamental names, albeit all of the main variations do have their subgroups. If you don't push the Inspire 100AZ beyond its limits, its fully coated achromatic refractor lens will be able to give you a clear detailed view of space while reducing aberration problems. However, the achromatic lens has some drawbacks of its own. It features a focal ratio of f 6.6 and a 100mm aperture with a 660mm focal length. This means that the device will be reasonably balanced in that the images won't be either excessively wide or too narrow due to the focal ratio, and as a result will be able to give a magnification of about 200 times when used at its peak magnification. Although some merchants claim that the Inspire 100 AZ's highest useful magnification is 241 times, most telescopes often deliver a bit less power than promised, so don't anticipate the Inspire 100 AZ to be incredibly helpful and detailed at its peak magnification. So that wraps up today's video guys, hope you all liked the video. If so, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. So that's it for today, let's all meet with a new video in the coming episode.